New developments today in the April stabbing death of a Fairfield teenager. Police say a man who sent Chelsea Johnson several text messages the day she disappeared is in jail. Nine News reporter Lisa Smith live outside the Butler County Jail with the latest. Lisa? Well, Clyde, 24-year-old George Donald Davis is in the Butler County Jail. Behind me, he is charged with importuning and drug trafficking. Now, police say that he sent several text messages to Chelsea Johnson before she died trying to exchange heroin for sex. A portion of the text messages go into um, Mr. Davis requesting sexual intercourse with the victim juvenile. Uh, in lieu of him bringing her drugs. That was audio from a preliminary hearing this week in Fairfield Municipal Court. A Fairfield police detective testified that subpoenaed cell phone records showed a two hour long conversation between 15 year old Chelsea Johnson and 24 year old George Donald Davis. He did arrange to uh, bring the victim, juvenile, um, several tenths of heroin where she was to meet him. The 15-year-old high school freshman's body was found the day after those text messages in a creek near her home. Police say Davis and Johnson were acquainted. I don't know that we know the total relationship to them, but they were family acquaintances within, within a circle of friends and family. Police will not refer to Davis as a suspect, and he has not been charged with murder. As to the homicide investigation itself, we will be looking at all aspects of it and, uh, and continue our investigation in that vein. Okay. Now, Davis is being held on a $250,000 bond. The case is expected to be presented before the Butler County Grand Jury in a few weeks. Lisa Smith, 9 News, live in Hamilton. Thanks, Lisa.